So I'm getting back under this car a lot sooner than I had planned on because of all that exhaust noise. You know, I was I was thinking there might have been something wrong with the patch I did previously. I'll link the video where I did that patch work. But it isn't the patch. The patch is holding up perfectly fine so far. The problem is that further on down the line here, a very short distance, this pipe broke right here. So my job today now is to try to repair that or uh, patch that up. Unfortunately, I was hoping I'd be able to avoid working on the exhaust system under here for like a year, but it turned out to be, I don't know, was it a month? It might have been a month or less. Okay, so let me see what I've got to do. Part of the reason that happened is because I never repaired or I never replaced this broken hanger that was at, on the back, which I noticed right away when I had the last problem that that was broken. So I should have provided another hanger to support the, the weight back here on the back of the muffler. Because the other side is the same way. That hanger is also broken off the back of the muffler. So, and without that, I guess it put too much stress on this, on this rusty pipe and uh, that's why it broke. Uh, that and too much rust. Okay, I'm going to have to do a uh, inline kind of a butt splice type of repair. So supporting the back of the muffler there with a jack stand, we'll push the front here down where I can access it to work on it. The first thing I need to do here is work on this Y-pipe assembly. This appears to be two stamped steel pieces that have welding tabs on them. So there's a welding tab on each side. And I'm going to have to cut them to make room for my new clamp that's going to go around there. So that's the first thing I've got to work on is cutting those off or cutting it or grinding or both. So that's what that looks like. Now I need to just take off the rest of this tab. You can see it's already split. The two sides are split where I cut in there. This is going to end up leaking some, some exhaust. Hopefully not making much noise. Let me do the other side now. 
I think that should work. Can you see okay? All right. And there that is. Okay. Right, get out an angle where I can see it. Okay. There it is. You can see that cut. Now I'm just going to grind that tab off, I think, with an angle grinder. And on both sides. Okay, this flap disc isn't going to do it. Got to go change that. Well, I need smooth to wrap that clamp around there. I'm going to use one of those strap clamps. I believe it's a, a sleeve clamp. Okay, next side. So I wrapped a bungee around that to pull this pipe out of my way a bit. It was interfering with my grinding. Okay, I'll continue on. Okay, so that's pretty smooth there. I think that sleeve will, that clamp will slide right over there now. I'm going to clean this side up with a wire wheel next.
it seems pretty tight. I've never used one of these clamps before, but it seemed like a perfect inline splice. The problem I have now is that the Y, the y assembly stamp pieces and the pipe itself are really two different LEDs, two different diameters, so it might be a challenge getting it to hold on the smaller pipe. It's darn tight. Well, if this doesn't work, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy a new white pipe, but that's not what I want to do right now. pretty darn tight. I can't wait to start the engine and see what it sounds like. I can't start it or I'm not going to start it while it's on this uh, <laughs> this angle. But uh, the car's jacked up at quite an angle. Hmm. And that pipe, I can feel it moving in there. So... I better get some good clamps on here on the back. Uh, some good exhaust hangers to support the back of these mufflers. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then in order to support the back end of the uh, mufflers, I used some plumbing strap. Just strapped it up, put a piece on both sides, just to support the back of the mufflers. The, the hangers on the front of the mufflers are both still intact. I don't know if you can see that there, but that's a good shape. So that's the rear hanger now. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to get it off these jack stands, lower it down till it's pretty level, and then try starting it, see how it sounds. All right, let's see what this sounds like. drive it around a bit before I decide if I'm going to do anything else with it. <laughs> 